According to CNBC, Haiti is in the top 10 most dangerous countries. I had filmed the violence over a decade ago. The best story, man. Come, thief, give the trouble, all right? Every day, almost every day. Now my fiance and I are headed back. <laughs> this time I'm not trying to be a tourist of poverty. This time I'm not hunting for the shots in the little cracks and alleyways. <laughs> This time, our mission is something more. But to tell you the story of why we're in Haiti, we need to first go back to Toronto, Canada. I'd always loved to travel. It gave me a sense of adventure. After I had had my son, I realized how precious time at home was. Shiva and I had been friends for several years and decided we were gonna do a documentary about her reconnecting with her past. It wasn't long after that our love story began. My son Camille is from a previous relationship. Shiva and Camille have a special bond that is growing closer by the day. Oh, maybe I can just put it in the bowl and then okay. spill it in there. We shared so much of the same interest and a special connection to Haiti. Shiva agreed to marry me and we decided we would do it in Haiti while filming the documentary. Traveling with Shiva is different. It's no longer my independent adventure, but a shared experience. One that strengthens our bonds and unites us spiritually. This trip back to Haiti is a chance for Shiva to cure her diaspora blues. She had to leave when she was nine years old as a refugee. Her mom was being targeted for her political work. So weird. I think it's very fitting that I had to make a stop in Florida to go back to Haiti. We say goodbye to Florida, and at last, we are in Haiti. Waking up to the morning sun at the Airbnb feels magical. There is a mystical element to how the light falls on the trees. Imagine just having, look at this, like, I don't know if I'm ever going to have one place that's like, this is my home. Because as cheesy as it sounds, I do feel like I am a global citizen and, but I can't deny that my roots are here and I can't deny that there is something that keeps pulling me back here. It keeps wanting me to be more involved and to interact with people who speak my first language, or people who can understand my weird jokes that you can only say in your native tongue. Attention, attention, attention. Mm, not well, not well. 
My mom came down to uh, well, for the wedding, but also she has her own agenda. How do you feel to be back right now? I feel amazing. I always feel amazing to be home. Something every parent, you know, they dream of every parent to see your, your, your children getting married and you happy about the one too and then he or she's getting married too. You know, because sometimes we don't really agree, but I like him. <laughs> you are our sweet little one. <laughs> yeah. We wander around the city doing errands for a wedding. It's fun just to act like a tourist, just to be playful, just to enjoy taking some pictures. I think it's pretty cool that we get to do this together and it's our first, technically our first trip, our first international trip together. And it just happened to be Haiti. I think that's super special. And yeah, I just feel really happy about it. This trip is so far from the harshness I had felt before. This time it's filled with beauty and the joy of our new life paths. We're here to explore. We connected with our Baha'i friends and were invited to his house to say prayers. There's a warmth and tenderness to the friends we've made in Haiti. I had not experienced this kind of beauty here before. It gladdens my heart. It isn't just landscapes I find more beautiful this time. My heart has grown warmer. The people I meet are filled with joy. Their happiness is contagious. Haiti has changed in my mind. It's no longer filled with adventures and action. Rather, I discovered a stillness here. Making this documentary has opened my eyes to a new part of Haiti. I didn't just explore a different place, but I explored with a different intention. Getting married in Haiti felt special. It felt like we were the only ones in the world, in the most beautiful place in the world. Thank you God for taking me on this life trip for giving me an experience that would open my heart and soul to this beautiful land. For making this trip the most amazing adventure I ever had.